Hey friends, welcome or welcome back. I want to play with a TikTok trend. I am not a TikToker, but <laughs> I have an account and occasionally I will scroll through it. I have been seeing this clean girl trend. I want to play with that and today we are going to kind of make it my own by doing the like clean boy look because I'm a boy. <laughs> In essence, this clean girl makeup look is basically a slightly elevated no makeup makeup look and no makeup makeup is something I really really enjoy and it's something I really focus on in my professional makeup career. So without further ado let's get right into this video. So the first thing we want to look at when doing a no makeup makeup look or a clean girl makeup look skin care and our skin prep. That is going to really lay down all of the groundwork for this look because it is a very skin centric look. Clean girl makeup look compared to a traditional no makeup makeup look has more focus on glow and luminosity. I'm going to start by doing a little bit of highlight as my groundwork. For that, I'm going to be using my Auric Glow Lust in the shade Morganite. I'm going to start with a dry beauty sponge and I'm going to work the product into the sponge. If you are someone like me who has skin slightly more on the oily side, but you want to add luminosity, you want to keep the highlights to the parts of the skin that are naturally a little bit drier, a little less oily. For me, that is the top of the cheek and I can wrap it right into the temple. Using a dry sponge, will eat up some of your product. But when you add moisture to your sponge, you're going to impart a little extra luminosity. So if your skin is more on that normal to dry side, or you're someone who likes more of a luminous finish, then you might like that. I want to absorb some of that emollients because I don't want my skin to get too greasy or too shiny looking. With this being such a skin focused look, we're gonna do a little bit more underpainting. Underpainting is going to be any type of color product that we lay down before we do our kind of all over foundation base. Fenty Beauty Matchstick, I'm using the shade Amber. Add some shape and definition to the face without having obvious contouring lines. Scarlet Tilbury Powder and Sculpt Brush and I'm just going to whisk into that product and pick up a superficial amount. I don't want anything too crazy because that will take away from the overall look of this kind of no makeup makeup effect. We are taking what we have and we're enhancing it to avoid any type of lines on the side of our face. Take your product, use your finger, find where that cheek is. You can even do like the tissue first if you want to to find the hollow. I like using my fingers because I can really feel where that is. I'm getting a little bit older. I'm officially into my 30s. So I'm gonna go slightly above where that hollow is and just work that in because gravity is starting to pull things down and I wanna push things back up. This is gonna kinda act like a little bit of a makeup push up bra for your face. So let's lift that right on up. You can see this side to this side, not a huge difference. Under the makeup, it's gonna even be a little bit more subtle. We can always add more. It's easier to start with less and then work our way up. I like to think about applying makeup in subtle layers, like having a bag of your favorite candy. You know, like that candy that is like a kryptonite for you. For me, it's definitely gonna be Reese's. And Reese's or Reese's, however you say it. I've always said Reese's because that's how my parents said it. But <laughs> when you have a candy like that and you have one or two and it's okay, you're like, I'm good. But then you have a few more and then you have a few more and then the bag is gone and then your stomach hurts and then you're like, I ate too many. Well, you can't take them away. So it's easier to have one or two and then have one more. But just don't go too far. Kind of a roundabout example, but it's easier to add more than it is to take away. Because if you overeat the Reese's, you can't uneat them. I want to balance out things. So since I have some shape and definition on the cheeks, I'm gonna go around the hairline and I'm gonna work this right into the hairline. If you have a naturally short forehead, really don't need to do this stuff. But if you're someone like me, who you look in the mirror and you're like, hello, five head, then this is a step to reduce the visual length of the forehead. Then I'm gonna take a little bit more and then just run down the sides of my nose. And if you don't have facial hair, you can take a little bit right on the jawline. I'm gonna do it because we're right here but you're not gonna see anything. Facial hair, it's like permanent contour, will permanently decide to shave it off. No makeup makeup when you're choosing your foundation. 
it's a little tricky. If you are someone who has super oily skin and normally with oily skin, we will have enlarged pores. If you take a very luminous foundation and you put it on, it's going to make pores appear more enlarged because anytime we add light, you're drawing attention to an area. It's almost like playing with a photo editing app. And if you have texture and then you highlight over it, you're going to emphasize that texture, or almost sharpen it. Meanwhile, if you are someone who has more normal to dry skin and you put a very matte foundation on where your skin is already lacking that moisture, it's going to make it look a little bit more dry and it can make it look more textured. So it's nice to find a foundation that is going to unify your skin and work with what your skin naturally got going on. With my skin being a little bit more prone to getting oily in this middle section, I'm going to go with something a little bit more matte and this is from the brand Ramon, the new Zero Cushion in 02 Pure 21. And for the look I'm doing today, I don't want that much coverage so I'm going to use my dry beauty sponge. I'm going to press in, pick up just a little bit. It should barely look like there's anything on the puff and I'm going to start building up very thin layers. Like if you look on this side to this side, there's not a huge visual difference. That is the point. Remember, it's easier to eat more Reese's than it is to uneat the Reese's. So take your time, build it up. No makeup makeup or the clean girl makeup look is all about thin layers. It's taking your makeup, making it look like you, making it look like, oh, this is just me. Not like, look at all this makeup I took hours to put on. No, you are gonna look like you have no makeup on despite taking a little bit longer than normal to put on your makeup. What I've always liked to do for myself and when working on clients is I like to analyze the face. This is a good time when you're doing your skin prep. If you're working on yourself or a client, look at the skin, see how it reacts, see which areas turn a little bit more pink, find which areas kind of stay a little all over skin toned without makeup. That is going to help you determine where someone is more likely to have more pigment or redness in their skin. So that's gonna help you learn where to focus your complexion product. For me, that tends to be in this inner kind of diamond shape. So center of the forehead, tops of the cheeks, and down to the chin. I like to focus my coverage there. When I have less on, I'll go in little circular motions and blend outwards. And I also have a hair that's like just wanting to go its own way. Great little side trick for this video. If you have a skin mist like MAC Fix Plus or anything that has a high glycerin base, a trick we used to use a lot at the MAC counter is take a spoolie brush, spray it with some Fix Plus. That glycerin should help to tame any flyaways. Back to foundation. You can add more coverage by building up your foundation where you need it, or you can use a concealer. I really like to focus on using the foundation. That way we have texture and texture, which is similar. I'm gonna take more of my foundation, still working in a very, very thin amount under my eyes. I'm gonna want more coverage. So what I'm gonna do is I picked up quite a bit more on my sponge this time around. I'm gonna use this almost where I would highlight my skin, but I'm gonna use this to stamp on more coverage. Flip your sponge over, get a clean side or use a clean brush and pat over that. Doing this with the clean side of your sponge, it's going to lift off any residual product. And that's something with no makeup makeup that I've always liked to look at is, it's always this kind of back and forth of add a little bit, take a little bit. And doing that and using pressing motions, if I'm doing something with like a makeup brush, something like a flat kabuki brush, I would still be pushing it into the skin. Pushing your products into the skin is going to help it blend more with the skin. Something I always like to do, go back to the bottom side of your sponge, Press under your nostrils. A lot of people have redness right through here. Take a little extra time, conceal right there so that way it doesn't look like you have bright red nostrils after you do your foundation concealer around your mouth. Now where I added the extra foundation, I'm gonna press a little bit more and then flip over to the part without foundation and blend. I got a little bit on my lip. I want to see the natural coloring of my lips and also around my eyes because that's gonna help me gauge how much I need to add to different parts of my face. I wanna add a little bit more because now that I've added a little bit more coverage here, I need to keep that balance. So right here in the very center of my forehead, I'm gonna apply a little bit there, blend it, take it out a little bit, 
and blend that in. Here is the foundation. There's still a big focus on keeping the skin looking natural. We've got made it a little bit more matte. That's okay. We can always dial up the glow. Once you put the foundation on, even if you do a thin layer all over like I've done with spots of higher coverage, when you blank out the skin, you are erasing that natural melange of different colors. We have a little bit of red, blue, pink, purple, green, all the different colors in our skin. By eliminating that, it makes things look a lot more made up. And when you're doing a no makeup makeup, look or a clean girl makeup, you want to find colors that are naturally occurring in your skin. Because if we choose something from a color palette that is far off from you, it's going to look really, really stand out. I have grabbed one from Rare Beauty in the shade Hope, an Elf Putty Blush in the shade Tahiti. Here we have Elf Tahiti. Build that up a little bit more so we can really see it. It's a very bright, vibrant, pinky coral. This on someone who had lighter features, think about someone with light hair, light eye colors, and a little bit more warmth, more yellow golden undertones. Something like this would look like it was radiating from within. For me, I can make a color like this work, but it's going to stand out. It's going to become more of a statement piece versus being almost this more naturally radiating color. In comparison between the two, even though they're both a pink, the Rare Beauty has a little bit more of a neutrality. It has an extra addition of a little bit of a blue pigment. And that little bit of blue is going to play with my undertone, my coloring to look more realistic. If that's too much, find a color that matches your look. You can see here, the e.l.f. color is going to be a little bit brighter than my lip tone. The Rare Beauty is much closer. And a little pro tip, wipe your hand off if you're working off the back of your hand. It's going to help prevent things from staying. But two, if you're wearing lighter colors, like with this clean girl look, it's more so of an aesthetic. Lots of whites, light pinks, lots of very light and bright colors. If you've got makeup on the back of your hand and it touches something, hello to makeup on your clothes. I like to start by doing three dots. So we're going to go outside of the eye under the eye and a little spot right here. It's almost like this little triangular shape and we're gonna start blending it out. And then we have some different options as far as what you can do. If you want to have more of a flush, you can leave it here or you can take it and I like to do little circles and start taking it back towards the hairline. If you wanna have the face look a little bit more just kind of flushed, you can work your way straight back. And I'm gonna work this more so up to the temple. That's gonna help give a little bit of a lifted effect, which is another effect that is really on trend within TikTok. Working it through here, you're gonna lift, you're helping pull the face up. So you remember that reference with the contour, we're talking about the makeup push-up bra for the face. This is gonna give you a little extra push. So just working through, building up, and whatever's left, I'm gonna take right here on the outer corners of my forehead. We have a soft, natural flush versus without. We've technically got more makeup on this side, but this side is looking more realistic and no makeup than the side without that color added back in. Using a dry sponge, you eat up a lot of the product, but if you're someone who's worried about going overboard with your color, this is a great trick. And it's something I use a lot because I have a very heavy hand with blush, and blush is not easy to tone down if you go too heavy with it. If you have been anywhere with that short form makeup video, so YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, TikTok, you have seen a lot of people putting blush on their nose. A lot of people will take it right here and they will really build it up. And yes, it's very cute, but the Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer blush isn't for everyone. I like to take it from the center of the bridge down create that natural flush, and then use the clean side of my sponge to tap and blend over. We're adding a little bit of that redness or ruddiness back to the nose. It's gonna be in a very controlled way. I'm gonna remove a little bit more right through here. And that's because the nose is a very centralized point on our face. Now, if you have a lot of evenness right through there, it can look a little makeup-y. I like to add a little bit of my blush, bronzer, right through here to add a little bit of a contrasting color to make the face look more realistic. Take a little bit of your blush. You can take it right on the lips. With your no makeup makeup, you could easily add a little bit of mascara, do a little brow, and you'd be done. This would be a great no makeup makeup look. The clean girl makeup look is 
and play off the snow makeup makeup look. It is definitely a makeup look. You can see where there's different things. So let's take the snow makeup makeup look and build it up to being a full on clean girl, TikTok, Instagram ready makeup look. We're going back to the highlight. So this time I'm gonna take a pump and a half okay <laughs> so doing this whole pump from far away i got way more product than i need i'm gonna use my sponge eat up some of that product to get this clean girl look or clean boy look you really want to crank up the glow i'm going to focus here on the high points of my cheeks i'm going over where i applied the blush that is okay and bonus trick if you're someone like me and you were over the age of 30 we start losing a little bit of volume right here through the temple area as we get older you can add a little bit of extra glow right there to plump that area up and really add some va va boom and some juice back to the skin further enhance seeing our makeup push-up bra. Think of that as your padding. We're adding a little bit of extra padding right here to keep things looking full and fresh. Work it right over the arch. That will help lift the brow without emphasizing any type of hooding or heaviness you have on the lid. Little fun bonus tip. My Fenty contour stick. I need to turn up this kind of chisel or snatching of the cheek. So we're gonna enhance that contour, apply it same place. This time we are gonna work, start back the hairline from the hairline to halfway towards the corner of our eye. I like not to bring things past this point. So think of this invisible line right through here. And that way when you're looking forward, if you bring it too far in, it can start to look like a shadow that's pulling the face down. We are lifting, we are adding our structure or our shape. Thinking back to our push-up bra analogy, think of this right here. This is going to be the underwire. This is be that support that helps keep things up. Sponge, press over that. Use the side where you've not been applying your product. We wanna pop the blush, we wanna make a little bit more statement. Team girl look has this flush, it has a punch to it. Skin Spark Blush from the brand Phyto Surgic. And this is called Fume. It's a really beautiful, slightly grayish mauve tone. And I'm gonna start right here, circle my way back. You've got that flush from the blush you've already applied. This is gonna be a little bit more of a pop. Focus here on the apple of the cheek. Fresh perkiness to the center of the face. And you're gonna blend back, pull it into the hairline, and boom, you have your lift. Eyes have been left out of the equation so far. So let's not leave them out of the equation. Sticking with a color that works for your skin tone, find something that kind of plays with the natural coloring. A lot of us will have some mix of different colors in our eyelid. The skin here is quite thin, so you'll see more reds, purples, blues, browns. Find a color that kind of plays with all that. Bonus points if it has a little bit of a shimmer. I am gonna be using my Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize Cream Shadow in the shade Pillow Talk. You can really do this any way you want to. I like to taper it here on the inner corner of my eye, and then I'm gonna start kind of lifting out. And then you can use your finger to smooth. Just the BK Beauty A503, just a big fluffy brush. I'm gonna start dragging that shadow out. We're gonna extend right here to give that little extra lift. This is gonna follow that angle that the cheek was going up. So you're reinforcing the shape and the lift that you're giving the eye. Part of this trend that is really different compared to traditional no makeup makeup is there is a lot of eyeliner present for this. The eyeliner is quite flicked out, but it's very, very subtle. To mimic that look, you can use a brow product or even like a brown eyeliner, Anastasia Brow Pen. And I use the shade Soft Brown. I'm personally not a big eyeliner fan, so once I have it on, I'm gonna use a small brush. This is the BK Beauty A504, and I'm gonna start smudging over the eyeliner right away. When I get here to where the flick is, I'm gonna buff over. I feel like when I buff out the tail of the flick, that is when I can know if I need to extend it. You're buffing it away, so if you make a boo-boo, no one will know. If you're someone like me and your lashes aren't the fullest, one thing I like to do is use the side of my brow marker and then go right to the root of my lash stamp. This does not need to be perfect. You're almost bumping it right at the root of the lash and you can go as far in as you want. I normally like to take mine right to where my lashes stop growing. And also if this happens where you get that little, kind of if it went up too high, switch hands, angle your brush 
downwards and when you start buffing it will help to smudge it downwards a little bit and that will just help add that little extra smokiness behind your lashes so that way when you apply mascara they're gonna have a backing it's almost gonna look like the lashes are so dense they're creating a soft shadow behind the eyes right under the eye i like to focus right here on the outer quarter take my little brush this time i'm gonna angle it upwards you want it to pretty much disappear if something like this happens where you get that little extra and a bit of darkness out here that you don't want, it's okay. We have not powdered our face yet, so we can still tone things down and we can still perfect everything to look like it is you just enhanced. This is the BK Beauty A502. I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Cream Shadow again, and I'm gonna go right under my eye with that color. If you've got a little too much shadow down here like I did on this side, what I like to do is take my concealer brush and I'm gonna pick up a little bit of my foundation and I am going to stamp under and then I can use that to lift. And you can also go under your eye where you did your lower eyeshadow and go right through here. And then I like to use my finger. You can use your sponge if you want. And then after I do that, I like to go back with that big fluffy eye blender I've been using and then just soften over where that foundation and the shadow meet. Then I'm gonna use my sponge and pat over that lower line. Next, all you have to do is apply a little bit of mascara. I'm gonna be using my CoverGirl Clump Crusher Water Resistant Shade Black Brown. Final step of our Clean Girl TikTok makeup or Enhanced No Makeup Makeup is lips. The big lip look I see with this look is a slightly kind of more nudey lip color. Something that has a little bit of a darker liner with that super glossy 3C in the shade Double Wind. When you're looking for a good shade for your lip, you need to look at your natural lip color. For me, I like to focus right here on the inner part of the lip. That is where I like to look for your nude lipstick color because if you choose like a pale beige that everyone calls nude and you put it on and especially if you got like my skin tone and my lip color, it's gonna look almost like a gray beige, which is not that kind of fresh, clean girl look that we're going for. To add a little bit of a darker perimeter, I'm gonna use the NYX Slim Lip Pencil in the shade Mauve. You want this color to be about one to two shades darker than the lip color. And then finish off with a gloss. Sephora collection, this is the Colorful Gloss Bomb in the shade 28 Soulmate. Put your finishing touches on. If you do anything with your brows, do something with your brows. NYX Thick It Stick It Brow Gel in the shade Cool Ash Brown. If you're someone who is more on the oily side, you will want to set. I'm using my favorite. This is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Press Powder in Translucent. I'm gonna use my BK Beauty number 103 bronzer brush, and I'm going to mattify the center of my forehead where I get shiny. Focus on the sides of my nose, under my eyes. I will have all the products that I mentioned today linked in the description box down below. Those are affiliate links, so if you would like to use them and help support my channel, that would be awesome. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Again, this was my take on a no makeup makeup that we have then elevated into this kind of trending clean girl makeup which is like clean hyper real skin with elements of glam for my glam instead of doing like that kind of warm flicked out i did extend it out but we went a little bit more smoky and then we played more with like enhancing and embellishing the natural skin to look like a more perfected version of yourself if you found that enjoyable make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share it with a friend thank you so much for sticking to this point if you enjoy this look if there's anything else you want to see or you want to know more about a product I talked about, let me know in the comment section down below. And until next time, take care wherever it is you are in the world, and I will see you later. Bye, y'all.